Hi, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we'll talk about how to fix it when Hyper-V isn't showing in Windows features. Watch the video until the end to learn this and more. The possible reasons include compatibility issues, BIOS or UEFI settings, or you need to include prerequisites. Here's how to fix the issue. Check the system's compatibility. Ensure your Windows version is Pro, Enterprise, or Education. Check if your CPU supports SLAT or second-level address translation. Enable virtualization in BIOS or UEFI. Restart your computer. Enter the BIOS or UEFI setup by pressing F2, F10, or Dell during startup. Find virtualization settings. The settings may be located in CPU configuration, advanced or similar. Enable Intel VTX or AMD V. Save the changes and restart. If the problem persists, install the missing prerequisites. Make sure that all Windows updates are fully installed. Reinstall all hardware drivers, particularly those for the motherboard and CPU. Manually enable the Hyper-V feature using PowerShell. Open PowerShell as an administrator. Run the command Enable Windows Optional Feature Online. The command is in the description. Restart your computer. If the problem persists, kindly get in touch with Microsoft support. So, there you have it. Follow these steps to fix it when Hyper-V isn't showing in Windows features. Thanks for watching. Till next time.